What's up? I'm Lexi Simonson. And I'm Justin Gentilla. And this is Spicy Tuna, a podcast where we talk about content or media that's new to one or both of us. We'll be covering anything from TV, movies, a bunch of other stuff. Right now we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender. I've seen it. And I have not. So let's get into it. Start this off right. First things first. Yeah. Follow the Patreon. Yeah. Uh, just fo- just do it. Just just do it. We're not asking for much. We're not asking for much. <laughs> that sounds but so sad. But listen, you're gonna. It's such good content that you're getting. Absolutely. It really is. I'm. I know that probably sounds very like. I, I think a lot of people say that. Uh, not real. Granted, but we're not like naked on it. But we're not naked. But, <laughs> but you're I gonna laugh see, a lot. We're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna see our reactions to things. Look, I know I'm not showing my feet. Yeah, but, but you're gonna watch me watch Twilight. You're gonna watch me watch some stuff. We're gonna do it together, and you're gonna get some like one-on-one time with us, and like a lot of other stuff, and you get to like tell us what to do, which is. I mean, basically, okay, they'll, they'll yeah, you tell preluded that by on our Patreon, you get one on one time with us and you tell us what to do. <laughs> oh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> I'm like, that no, didn't sound don't good. say that. Oopsies, that's not what I meant. Um, uh, we, we'll, we'll review things. Yeah, we do. There's, there's going to be so many fun things. And like if books. you're a small business owner, check us out because uh, we have Absolutely. some really great offers for you on there as well. If you want to promote your stuff, if you want to get it out there, uh, check it out. And email us. You can literally email us and we can talk to each other. Yay. Yeah. Um, okay, today, shout out. I'm drinking Liars, the Amalfi Spritz. Have you wow. ever had this one? No. Okay. I had the other one that was y- very good. Yeah. So this one, ooh, beautiful. What is it? Uh, what what flavor? What, what what drink is it mimicking? It's a... Uh, like, a like a mule vibe? N- no, no. What's a spritz? Uh, Aperol. It's an Aperol Spritz dupe. So... It's so good. Nice. Try it. Okay. You're gonna. I think you're. I think you'll like it. It's bitter. It's good. Oh. <laughs> that is good. It's good as fuck. You wanna try it? You know, I think all of these non-alcoholic beverages are great, but they just make me want to put alcohol in them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I, I would enjoy that twice as much if. What, what if you just bought a bunch? What would you even put in that though? Like gin. Mm, well, yeah. Mm-hmm. You would put gin because you're a gin I, I, guy. Yeah, I feel like whiskey would be too uh, oh. malty for me, but... Oh, listen to that ASMR. Yeah. Um, it's like when people pour Guinness, you know, and mm. they have that specific way of pouring. I don't like Guinness. Do you guys like Guinness? I do some... Uh, I'm not saying I do like Guinness. I do want to someday go over to... Where is it? Dublin? Yeah. Um. And Ireland, have yeah. or I somewhere and have them the real, actual, like authentic pour. I would have like a sip of that. I would have a drink of that. I did. You, I grew up thinking that a uh, beer would taste like root beer. Like as a kid, you know, when people drink like root beer, I was like, it has to be the same. It oh, has to be sweet. I used to think it has to beer be similar. I, I used to think beer was going to be really, really sweet, like Arizona oh. iced tea almost. <laughs> And then when I found out it was, and I was like, "You're like, whoa, that's weird. Yeah, kind of tastes like piss." <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I'm a very blonde ale kind of guy. I'm mm, kind of like a. Yeah, I yeah. like IPAs. The fuck out of here. I like that's. I like. I you like I liquid love- tires. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I I think IPAs are fine. Just don't be an asshole about them. Yeah. No, you don't have to wear the beanie and like be a <laughs> dick about it. Like just. I feel like a lot of people I know who drink IPAs are like they let you know they're drinking IPAs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, like yeah. I I could have just gone without knowing that was an IPA. Yeah. It's also like I can see your stomach bloating from here. Like we all know what you're drinking. Yeah. When they go like this and they're like, it's so good. And they immediately burp afterwards. It's like, all right, I think we all fucking get it. Also, like, it's not a, a sippable beer. Like, I think a lot of people, when they get IPAs, they're like, oh, like, here, I, like if you serve IPA at, a, like, a party. That's weird. It's fucking weird, dude. Like, everyone, especially if it's a party where, if it's, it's a, also rude. If it's, like, a talking party, that I get it. But if it's, like, a let's get drunk party, I'm like, dude, I don't care what I'm drinking as long as I get it down fast. I'm yeah. not going to get an IPA down fast. Yeah, but IPAs usually have a lot higher alcohol content. That's for beer. true. But given it's like what? Okay, so like you, it's like a 6.5% alcohol volume versus yeah. what is, you know, three shots of tequila going to do? I know. Like but a lot more probably. It's like what you do at a party, right? And then by the time you're like, go to sip, it's warm as fuck. Yeah. And no uh, one wants to do, well, no one wants to drink a warm IPA. Oh no, God, there's nothing worse. That's like warm nail polish remover. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's so bad. Warm beer in general is like such a no go. Like I hate when you like I, I've had like a conversation with someone at a party and I go back to my drink and then I'm like, fuck, it's warm. Well, that one's gone. Pour <laughs> it like, out. Yeah, but then you don't want to like you don't want to like throw out half of a beer. Yeah, but if it's warm, bye. I know. Just down it, I guess, at that Just point. Yeah. Throw back. Yeah. Anyways, otherwise <laughs> I'm eating this Mama Chia Blackberry Bliss Vitality Snack. So good. Nice. It's have you ever tried these? No. All right. I don't have. Uh, Do you want to try it? Your, your mouth was on that. I was going to say waterfall it. But you didn't waterfall it already. But so then you've like. My spit isn't in there. That's not how it works. It's not like oh, a is straw. That fresh? Like I've had it, but you just like. <laughs> like it's not like a. Like you don't suck it. Like okay, you push okay, it okay, out. okay, 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 okay. Just okay. waterfall it though. How do I waterfall a squeezy bag? Like that. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot to get the gist of it. Oh, yum. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, good. People either love them or hate them because the chia seeds are like weird. I don't think chia seeds are weird. If you drink boba, you can't like think chia seeds are weird. I like it. I'm addicted to them. I have one of these every day. I have a friend who's like, I can't drink boba because I'm going to choke. I'm like, just sip and chew. Yeah. You don't like like a snack while you drink. You don't like fucking. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. (laughs) If you have the extra big bobas, though, like, all right, I get it. Yeah, boba's always like I'm so I'm a little bit nose up on boba. You have to make sure that it's like not it's cooked properly. Yeah. Like you don't want like too like chewy. Mushy. I prefer it's just it's soft. I would rather lean into the softer really? than like, uh, like it, hard. Yeah, I've ever like had boba ball. that's like you're chewing it and you're like, this Rubber. is like gum. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. yeah. You little, don't want little. that. Oh, taro. That sounds so good. Taro? Taro. Yeah. Taro, taro. Is it taro. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean it does, but it doesn't I didn't know that taro and ube are actually different vegetables. Did you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You knew that? Me? You knew that? Yeah. I didn't know that at all. Yeah. I, I, I think taro is uh Because taro's a root, right? And yeah. ube, ube is the, uh, the, a like potato. a potato. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Tar- like- taro's Japanese and I, and ube is obviously in, in the Philippines, mm-hmm. but um, I didn't know that. I didn't. I, I think because they're both purple. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you just know assume. when you grow up, you're like whatever. And it's also they taste kind of the same almost. They, they have, do taste very similar. Very similar. So I think ube is sweeter. Mm. Um, but really, I think taro is sweeter. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, like I if guess I you could get a, like a taro boba, that shit's sweet. Ooh, I want to get one after this. Yeah, that sounds good. Boba is. Do good. I have that in my? I I, I always do. Uh, is that your my usual boba order is like taro? Yeah, taro. Always. I'm not always. a fruit guy. Nope. You know when people get like lychee or nope. pineapple? Nope. And I don't really. I'm not a huge fan of the Thai tea either. Really? No, it's. I don't. I haven't had one in a very long time. But I'm not. That's not my usual go to. It's also really high in caffeine. I feel like. Yeah, and I don't. That's I. I. I don't want to. F- I'm very sensitive to caffeine. Shout out to uh, Holly's Donuts in um, North Hollywood. Yeah, um, it's just I would always get a Thai iced tea or Thai iced coffee there, mm. and it wakes me oh the my fuck up. Gosh, <laughs> gives you a heart. Attack. I know. I, I've always been like, wow, it's just really good coffee. But I'm like, <laughs> but I'm like hyper. I, I. I. I was really happy once I was able to be mobile to go there myself and yeah because i was always uber it's funny i would always uber eats there because their breakfast croissants really good mm. and so when i walked in there like i was a regular i'm like what's up i'll get this they're like who the like- fuck are you and i'm like if you haven't noticed all your uber eats orders <laughs> yeah. under the name justin <laughs> that's been me that's so funny <laughs> yeah that's funny um but that shit wakes me the fuck up uh yeah i'm fucking sure yeah i don't really like those actually Okay, they look kind of um, mid. They look derpy. It's like I think it's Aang's eyes. Yeah. Like the that's the thing is, um, if I go to an if I buy an action figure, I have to check the QC, QC the quality control. Oh. So you, like you want to make sure the paint's good. Mm. But uh, Hasbro, the people who make all these Marvel stuff, mm. they recently to save the environment, they've <laughs> stopped using plastic shells uh-huh. on their on their action. So the box is all cardboard. So oh. I can't go in and check. Like oh. I can't check. Like I like one. Of, I bought a Spider Man and his eyes were like over here, <gasps> and I was so mad because like what? I, like I can return it, I guess. But like yeah, but you have to open it then, so it yeah, lessens the value, it. right? Well, I I mean I'm gonna open it regardless, but I just don't want to have to like go all the way back to the store. Oh, that's and then like go do that. I'm like yeah, yeah sure. Uh, you this know I'm one great. Isn't good enough. I'm, I'm, mm. The Earth is colder. Uh, you know I'm happy, but at the same time I'm like. 
improve your quality control so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I found this at a Ralph's. It's an Oppa truck. At a Ralph's? Yeah, it's a truck. That's adorable. <laughs> Isn't it so funny? That is it's so Oppa as a, as a fucking, fucking pickup truck. truck. And I was in the I was in the line and the guy is scanning it. <gasps> he goes. <laughs> he went he go yo he's like where is this and i was like oh by the i was like by the ice cream and oh he was like oh my gosh he goes, oh sick and, he, was, so and, he, and he goes and he was like he was like dude i saw like two people buy one of these <gasps> it's just like it's off as a truck that's so fucking awesome i mean that kind of makes sense he's a pickup vehicle he's got a dump truck hell yeah i'm dude. on that Oppa oh they 50. have one for ang too yeah but they made ang into like a surfer like a bug <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't. They made him into like a fucking taxi cab. Like it doesn't look very. I mean, good. Uh, yeah, I definitely around. It fits his character, you know, like yeah. bug eyed and like. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't as cute as this fucking Oppa pickup truck. Yeah, the Let's Oppa pickup right is sick. Um. Okay. All right. These so two fucking incredible, incredible episodes. <laughs> back to the show. <laughs> back uh, to book two, things. episode seven. Right. Zuko mm-hmm. alone. Mm. Uh, Zuko goes on a wild west journey where we relive his past. We meet Zuko's mom, and she's got it going on. Mm. Um, we learn a bit about Iroh and the previous Fire Lord. Uh, Zuko, and then Zuko has a Wild West showdown. We don't see the the gang in this episode at all. No, it's not the at only all. Avatar episode that is uh just is like that. is is just Zuko. Well, really? without Aang's not in this episode at all. So no, it's no, the only and also uh, it's the first Avatar episode that um, you know how the title card opens and it's just like a blank title card. Uh-huh. This one t- opens with like a sunset. Oh, it's just a random. That's a nice little fun fact, though. <laughs> I like that. That's a nice fun fact. It really fits into the Wild West motif. You you feel like you're watching a, a yeah. Clint Eastwood movie. Yeah, like a western. Yeah, I... it's sick. Wow, this episode. So we we start out we. Uh, we're we're watching Zuko go through it. Yeah, he's by himself. He's starving. <laughs> he's like going. He through. is starving. One of my favorite uh thi- like visuals in this episode is he's walking up to this obviously this poor town, mm-hmm. right? And he sees like these like destroyed rocks that were used in the war, and mm-hmm. like there's arrows and there's like dead bodies, and you know that town's been through it. But yeah, it's like a western, and so we see him enter this town. We see like the 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 bad guys. They're just like fucking assholes. Yep, who yep. are kind of exploiting the Earth Nation. People. Yeah, that just this whole so these Earth Kingdom army guys are yeah. assholes, and it yeah. just proves that like it doesn't matter what denomination you affiliate yourself with, what group of people, whatever. Even if they're like, oh, like you know how in my mind it kind of like kind of reminded me of like oh like there are like christians who are assholes yeah there's assholes everywhere and yeah and it's like it doesn't really matter like if at the core of who you are if you're a bad person like it does not matter what you associate yourself with because that's typical like fire nation yeah kind of well also i think um i I wrote this down war brings out the worst in people you know yeah yeah there's like a phenomenon of like um sa that happens on like every time there's a war there's just like mass Mm, assaults really that is just a thing that they were like noticing that um like every town no matter what it is like if you go into like you know obviously like you go into the history of like world war ii obviously Uh like um you know when germany took everything over they did horrible atrocities but then the same thing happened when the allies came back and took over berlin like people were getting like mass assaulted really yeah it's just like i mean that makes sense it it brings out the absolute worst in people yeah you're literally killing for like some random for some some like four dudes in a room who can't agree with Uh something and they just some other four dudes in a room (laughs) yeah yeah, yeah. fucking yeah and now i'm like a farmer and i get given a gun and they're like go kill that go do it go kill that dude that's on the other side of that fence yeah, that's you know? it, it, it. War fucks with people. It, it's a it's a huge yeah. thing. It's kind of like that. Um, what was it? It's a, this is. I'm gonna get this wrong. It's a Stanford experiment or the whatever experiment that was. There's a Netflix, I believe, a documentary and a show about the prison about um like CIA. How, it's like this mock prison experiment where yeah. it's like no in no particular like for no particular reason it, it wasn't like a draw of a hat but basically 
excuse me, half the people were prisoners and half the people were um, like the jailers and there were really no rules. They didn't, these people Uh-oh. didn't actually do anything wrong, but just the second that you put people in power, yeah. they're gonna be horrible, yeah. basically. Um, and it's I mean, a really interesting thing. Yeah, I mean, you could see all the um, able-bodied people are all fighting the war, so then this town's kind of susceptible to whatever happens. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and, uh, and you know, they're given, oh, you're in the army. They kind of feel like they have... Some up. kind of thing. It's like yeah. the, when the U.S. invaded <laughs> Vietnam, you know what I mean? And they did all that fucked up shit. So it's yeah. like the same thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, these guys are awful. And Zuko kind of just doesn't rat this guy out. So then they go. Yeah. Uh, they feed it's like a classic. Have you, do you watch Westerns at all? I've watched Westerns before. Yeah. But yeah, it's like the man with no name. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? They're like, what's uh-huh. your past? He goes, it's complicated. complicated. He doesn't want to <laughs> talk about it. And then, of course, he's like really good at like things at something you know uh-huh. and it's like he's like a good shoot you know how like they're always like yeah. oh this man drifted into town what's his business and then he's like really good at shooting yeah yeah and they're you like know? who is he yeah that's mm-hmm. sick so yeah it's it's cool um but yeah i really like that motif about it but yeah so they go to this um um this uh this random farmstead mm-hmm. and his family kind of takes him in basically right and feed him and at the same time we're getting flashbacks of zuko's childhood oh my gosh can we just talk about young zuko yeah oh my so gosh. full of life he is fucking hair. adorable <laughs> full of life full of hair full, <laughs> full of love just no ad- scar no scar just adorable he's yeah. so cute his mom's hot yeah his mom is beautiful and also then yeah like on the next episode, I was like, oh, wow. Azula looks so much like her mom yeah. when she's grown up, like now that she's grown up. But yeah. anyways, Azula has always been a fucking terror. <clears throat> yeah, and you could always. see, too, though, um, how close he is with his mom. Yes. You know, yes. they're feeding turtle ducks together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the- he bodies a turtle duck, <laughs> and she's like, why would you do that? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? The, the animal combos in Avatar go crazy. Amazing. I love them. I love them. I yeah. love them. I wish they existed. I think, I think they kind of just like said, this animal plus this animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's ne- it's never like like some w- crazy, crazy You never thing. see it's a just, like, dog. <laughs> just, no, no dogs. You don't see a dog. It would be like a cat dog. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Or like a cat bird kind of thing, or like a cat spider. How do you think cat dog pooped? And you know, the cat dog in Cartoon Network? How did cat dog poop? I don't know. I wasn't allowed to watch that show. You've never seen, you've seen cat dog though. I mean, I've, I saw, like, I remember trying to watch, like it would be on and then my mom would turn it off and be like, that's, that's frying your brain. (laughs) I didn't like how they would, uh, they're like, they're like, their heads are facing the opposite way. So like they're like oh, this. Oh, so I have see to, like, what walk. you're saying. But then well, they would, how did when they, they would walk together, it, it was like this. Well, if someone was shitting out the chest. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Someone yeah. was shitting. Or there's the just chest. a hole in the center. In the center. Oh, I don't want to think about that. No, 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 no. Um, but okay, yeah. So him young is adorable, and he yeah, very knows right mom. from wrong. Yeah, I he's think that's, able to discern right from wrong, which is huge. I think he gets that from his mom. Yeah, you know, they're because they're so close. I, yeah. yeah, I, so it doesn't say, but I'm assuming like the Fire Lord kills her. We're getting ahead of ourselves here. Okay. Let's just go through. Cause she's, but she leaves. And so I'm thinking that she's dead. Okay. All right. Um, Which means that she's not. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I don't, even if she was, I wouldn't say it outright. Right I, know, I know, I know, I know. Um, But uh, anyway, so. <clears throat> he helps this uh, farmstead, mm-hmm. um, and uh, it's kind of cool. He like takes that little kid under his wing because his brother. Yeah, that was so sweet. Yeah. My favorite part is how they parallel too when they talk about um, that little kid's brother who gets taken. It's pretty fucked up. They put them, they put Fire Nation outfits on yeah. prisoners of war, and then put them put in them the, the front, front line with no weapons. I'm like, wow, that is fucked. That is so unbelievable. That's definitely some fucked. some tactics people have done in previous wars Ye- but yeah it probably fucking <laughs> yeah. is and it's some fucked up shit yeah that is aw- that's like torturous that's worse than torture because you're getting killed by your own men yeah you can't um, defend yourself and um so yeah so they do that and then at the same time we find out about Iroh's son oh yeah yeah what'd you think of young Iroh they, you saw a little glimpse of young Iroh 
Younger Iroh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's, he was full on, full military Iroh at that point. Yeah, so he's a bit ruthless. Yeah, he's like, if we, if we, uh, if I don't burn it down before <laughs> then, maybe I'm that's like, just Fire yikes. Nation humor. Yeah, I bet they have a lot of burning puns. Yeah, I bet they have lots and lots of heat jokes, too hot jokes. <laughs> that party was fire. Yeah, mm. you know what I mean. They're like <laughs> that stupid shit. Um, but no, yeah. Uh, so yeah, young Iroh was and, a general. Yeah, in his and prime. he was just dead. So then he was uh, like the. It was interesting that uh, the Fire Lord. Like the old Fire Lord, Az- Azula. Azulon. Azulon wasn't actually like that bad. I mean, given like not <laughs> great, but he was like. Well, yeah, he, uh, you know, Iroh, um, his son died. So then mm-hmm. Iroh couldn't also. He like fe- succeed. Like, fucking Azula. He's like, oh, he just fell apart because his son died. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. He was yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah. So that's what. Um, Iro was talking about right, like he laid siege. Remember when you didn't know that the how two, many days how many yeah. days were in? I said six hundred days was four years. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that part. Uh, but no, he was laying siege six hundred days, and he just decided to quit because his son got killed, bodied. Poor guy. His son is dead. Which I, I'm like, where's his? I wonder where the mom is, where his wife is. Obviously, yeah, actually, just not in the picture. Yeah, I guess they don't really get into it. No, like actually, I don't. They don't get into really? it. Really? Yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. if it, maybe in like the book or books or something, but maybe she like died young or something, giving birth yeah. or something like that. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah. Typical middle age. Yeah. Like middle ages uh, type situation. Uh, shit. Shit that happened. Um. But no. Yeah. So he falls apart, obviously, because his motivation to succeed succeed is like is. I think what's great is it also contrasts the glory of war. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of kids are indoctrinated very young to like. You know, you play army as a kid mm-hmm. and you're like, you know, I want to be on the battlefield and blah, blah, blah. But people don't really understand that until they see like death Literal in the death face. And what it actually means and of like hiding actually, and being yeah. f- fucking stripped apart w- and w- traumatized. What war actually means, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. so I thought that was so yeah. devastating. And, and it was just really, it was really nice to see Zuko. Yeah, it gives that kid his dagger. Yeah, gives a kid a, his an dagger. actual dagger. Yeah, literally. Um, and and that he got from Iroh. <laughs> yeah, and and it's a nice one too. I like how it said. Um, uh, he's like, read it, and he goes, "Made, Made in, in the Earth, Earth Kingdom." Kingdom. The other, other side. side. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was funny. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it means a lot. His uncle gave it to him. Yeah, um, and then he just gave it away because it, I think he saw a bit of himself in that of like. You're gonna have to do it, kid. Yeah, because he was probably. I think he was close to Lu Ten, his uh, older cousin. Goes, yeah, Ario's, I wish. Uh, I wish we could have. Her son. Seen him. Lu Ten. Yeah. Does he come back? I mean, he's dead. So I, no. I just didn't know if there was any flashbacks of him. Uh all. no. 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 <sighs> well, yeah. Yeah. So, so then, basically. Yeah, so so Zuko takes it on himself t- to be like, I'm gonna go fight for this fucking well, kid. Well, yeah, so the kid, um, after the brother gets taken, Zuko bounces, mm-hmm. um, keeps saying Azula always lies. Azula it, always lies. Azula it, always lies. <laughs> I just, she fucking does. That's probably like me as a Kayla always lies. <laughs> She's really, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh. like your sister's always doing some fuck shit. Um, and so uh, Zuko is just chilling, and then he finds out that. You know, the kid felt empowered, pulled a knife on the, pulled the dagger. Yeah. That was crazy when then. Yikes. Uh, well, also before that, the dad decides to go to war. So it's just him and, so it's just her yeah. and the little boy. And then the little boy pulls a dagger and she's like, where'd he get it? I'm like, and she goes like, 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 fuck, dude, I have no fucker. idea, dude. He's like, I'm, I'm just trying to do the right thing. Yeah. And so, um, then Zuko takes upon himself to get the. Mm-hmm. get him back but then you know it cuts to the other flashback when we you know where um what is it azulon is so well first of all we see that scene with zuko and uh azula in trying to yeah. show off and he's just bad yeah. yeah he's just bad i was like oh no is so is azula his younger or older sister i think younger i feel like they could also be twins no i don't they're not definitely not twins. i know but like they like they let me look that if up. If someone fast. said they're twins, I'd be like, "Oh, okay." Cuz I feel like a specifically boy and girl twins, they're either like really close or like fucking hate each other. He's the eldest. He's the eldest. So he, okay. probably they're probably like 
what is it catholic twins that's what they say when they're like a year apart mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> isn't yeah. that <laughs> yeah. that's like me and catholic my twins. that's like me and my uh my my sister we're only a year apart you're only a year apart yeah mm-hmm. which is only like realistically like 14 months isn't that no is, wonder you're so close though is there a benefit to like popping it out right after um uh, no so you just kind of do it because you're like nah they can be close yeah and it's hell i believe it's easier on your body yeah, because I think your your body like takes six weeks to heal uh-huh. after you have a baby, mm. so it's not like it's still like raw loose. Yeah. You know? Well, no, no. I mean, like the, the toll having a baby. I can't imagine twice like twice in a row. I, I just, can't like, imagine doing it like right the after the hormones because women's hormones spike after having a baby too. It's just like, like, like I just don't. Very, I can't imagine to go straight back into the nine months pregnant. You're not more period. fertile no. after, no. Right? So you're kind of no. This, I th- I think to me it's like the hormones thing. I would not yeah. want to deal with that right no. after. I think but, a lot. I think a lot of people do it. I guess just the closeness in age. It like helps yeah. your kids. You yes, know. Yes, I think it. it it helps to just kind of, and it's also an easy because it gets, I think it's a lot harder to have a second one after you've gone a couple years with just one Yeah, because it's a lot more jarring. Whereas yeah. if you just have boom, two, <laughs> yeah. like right away, it's you're like in hell, all, but it's like, like you trauma have contained. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're like, you're like, this sucks, but in four years, it's it'll, gonna be a lot better. One of them is gonna be quieter, uh-huh, uh-huh. and then I'll wait again another year for the yeah. other one to be quieter. That's exactly well. right. Yeah, I think that's where. Like, what, what's your sister? You guys are two years apart, right? No, we're three and a half years apart. We're almost oh, four wow. years apart. Yeah, I think four is like um, a healthy. Yeah, so we never, we never, but then I was pushed up a grade. Like I went to kindergarten when I was like four. So I, which you did too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because our date, our birthdays. Our birthdays, yeah. Before the cutoff. Uh And the cutoff is like late September, right? Yes, that's exactly right. So, but I think she, I don't think she was held back, but her birthday's (laughs) in January. So she like basically got to like just a little bit of extra time. So like I was a senior in high school when she was in eighth grade. You know, I think that's actually a great... I, if I were to have kids, I think, like, either... I I would, like... I would want them to be close enough mm-hmm. to it where they could, like, be, like, uh, yeah, like, in high school together at, like, yes. one point. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, they don't need to be, like, right after the other. Yeah, I know, like, Zadie up. and I both... Like, I think if you asked her, like, it would have been really cool to be able to go to high school with my sister, like, just be in school. Oh. It would have been, like, I would have loved to go to high school with my sister, but oh. that's all right. I mean, it's, it's not any better or worse, to be honest. Yeah. I think I will... You kind of just, just known as that person's little brother. Yeah. Which can be kind of aggravating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I you're probably right. Especially when they get, when Kayla get good grades and they're like, dude, you're so dumb. You were, that's tough. That's how, no, that was a complete opposite of how oh. I was. I was a very loud and rowdy and rambunctious, horrible student. And she was like, like, oh, thank Very, God. very quiet. They were always like, you're so yeah. much quieter than your sister. Like, you're so much easier. That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Um, But I think I, w- I would like, I think two years is solid. Like two years, yeah, that's a solid. I would love to gap. have just two years in between and just two kids. Five solid. is a l- is a lot because that's five almost is a, a lot. I feel like f- ha- I feel like five is like you know generation difference. Well, yeah. a lot of people are like you're generationally different than your siblings. Yeah, my oldest brother is ten years older than me, and then eight, and then six. That's how because Hudson, yeah. my my brother, my technically he's my half brother, but that's weird to say. My brother turned. Six in July. I feel. I feel like that might be kind of cool though to have like a really younger sibling. Yeah, where you're that's just like, like fun. Bleh. That's fun. You know, I was yeah. like, never. My siblings never picked on me. I was like always really well protected. And yeah, like, I would never pick on. Yeah, them. it's well, like they're just. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, well, yeah, there would be like away. some teasing, but like you're not. Like my siblings used mean. to like fist fight. Like yeah, yeah you're never not punching with me. Yeah, if no, you're yeah. ten years older than you're, and like, dude, I hit my my brother i'm like well how annoying was he oh uh, no he's like this stupid five-year-old so yeah i'd be like in the face. whoa that's child abuse <laughs> like, like be but careful it, but if you like punch your, your, your brother ass. that's like the same age as you basically you're like whatever <laughs> you're like you're like yeah, yeah. hit him but, <laughs> but if you're, your little brother's five you're like what, what do you mean you <laughs> well, punched just, your brother you're like nah sibling things sibling things <laughs> i'm like hey i think you just have a thing like i think you need to go to therapy like yeah. that's fucked up <laughs> yeah like if you're like hitting on like hitting your fucking yeah if it's four younger. years or below and you're you're hitting your siblings <laughs> like mm, did you and zadie ever up. beat the shit out of each other no um she 
Sorry, Zadie, but she would. She's and she knows this. Growing up, she knows who the fuck I am she, and what I do. No, she. I was always scared of her because she was just. Um, she taller than you already. Already, she's been yeah. taller than me for a long. She's time. taller than me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she's so beautiful and long legged. Um, but she would like. She just would throw a little bit more intense, like tantrums tantrums yeah. and um she'd get frustrated with me probably a lot yeah. and uh she like would throw brushes at my head and stuff like that yeah but like there's like that's just like a pretty normal sister thing that's a normal yeah it's, i mean that's it's also just like one of those things like any girl knows this when you're like trying to brush your hair and you're it's in the morning and you're in a bad mood it's rude and you just like start hitting the brush with your head and then you just yeah. throw it and i just happen to be there like oh those kinds of things yeah um, my, yeah i mean but we didn't fight fight a lot we would get uh-huh. annoyed and like ah, and like be <laughs> shitty to each other but we wouldn't like physically we wouldn't fight fight like that like, i think it's because me and my sister are so close in age that when we have yeah the intensity of tantrum it's like you're both one six and one's five is that yeah. any different yeah no because we beat the fuck out of each other that's hilarious it's also a brother sister thing that's like that's a bro like yeah she used to yeah i have again i've mentioned my scars before from like all her her like deep scratches because she would just like pinch me so much <laughs> as a kid. um i, I think can't w- say too much shit though because yeah. my sister given it was on fucking accident but i fully clipped my sister uh with a golf club Holy shit. Yeah. And she still has a scar. Damn, bro. Real, really Older still has siblings a scar. and they're giving out scars to yeah, the Yeah, it man. was on my backswing. Wait, so it was an accident? It was on accident, yeah. I Wait, was where was she? I was practicing uh golf in the yard and she came like just walking up behind me oh. and wasn't paying attention and just I like and I had a mean backswing. I just go Phew. I like whipped it back and just Phew like cutter and my dad was actually taking like he was on our front steps and he was like taking a picture (laughs) right at the moment that it got and it was so fucking bad she was bleeding so fucking bad and it fucked up her smile for like two almost three years she like and she had the cutest little smile when she was young keyword had when she was like young young she had the cutest and i think this happened maybe kindergarten or first grade that i did this to her yeah so she was like a it literally her smile was like one time I, <laughs> I was going to find some pictures and we could, I love you, Sadie. I love you, Sadie. I love one you, time Sadie. me and Kayla were practicing CPR and I cracked her rib. Oh my gosh. Because what? I just, I was just like, we're all getting older. And she like, of course she freaked out. and was like, <gasps> the, t- the <laughs> she, testosterone. She starts, she starts just, walking. She gets up and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I was like, yo, what the fuck? And she was like on the floor and she's like, <gasps> You broke my startup. She was like, I can't breathe. I'm like, clearly you're breathing. You're talking. If you're talking, you're breathing. She's like, like, you're like, that's kind of not the point of CPR. Look, I I think I cracked her rib, but like, I don't. And then like, my my dad was so mad. You're like, your heart's beating. You're welcome. I I remember the moment I like got older and like, I think we were like eight and nine. Mm -hmm. And like, I mean, that's when like boys start getting like, yeah, you're one time she starts punching me and I picked her up and I threw her. (laughs) I went, fuck you. And I threw her and she like hit like my bed. She's like, okay. (laughs) And then she like gets so mad that she like walked out and I'm like, I was like, holy shit. And then from then on out, like my sister would like hit me and I would hit her back like, and it would be like a little harder. And she's like, oh, Oh. or like she used to like kick my door down when she was pissed to like yell at me. And then it got to the point where I would hold it and she would kick and it wouldn't move. And she was like, fuck. And she would like try to open my door. And I'm like, dude, this is like one handed. I was like, I looked at my hands. I'm like, what is happening? It's a Spider-Man moment. Yeah. A hundred percent. Okay. So uh, book two, episode eight, the chase. Yeah. The chase. (laughs) When I, write th- I was high when I wrote some of these, so Perfect. the chase has begun, obviously. <laughs> the chase has begun. <laughs> Why did you have to say it like that? I know, but like, because I was looking and I was, like, I was like, the episode is called The Chase. Why did I write oh, the, the Chase, chase has, has Begun? begun. Perfect, fucking perfect. <laughs> yeah, because I was pretty high last night, and so I was like, "Did you um, smoke or take an edible?" I smoked, but I packed a baby bowl, so I was mm. like high enough to function. And like, yeah, I, I, I ended up doing like a lot of my medical bills that oh, I just good. didn't. But I was like so focused. That's I was like hilarious. writing, and my handwriting was better than normal. That's fucking <laughs> so, incredible. So I was like looking. I was like, "Holy shit!" Do you still have more of that beef jerky? Can I have one piece of that beef jerky? Yeah, you can. You can. Wait, wait, wait! Right now. Okay. You, can you cut? No. Or keep it 
I, no, you, I want this. Why did you get up so? It. I've been eyeing it this entire time, and I'm like, this feels like a good time. It's like when we used to live together, you and Kaylee. Oh. Shout out Kaylee McGregor. But you guys would both be like, are those chips? Are those chips? Can I'm I like, fight? Yeah, they they are. <laughs> They're like, you're like, you're always like, not right now. You're always like, it looks so good. And I'm like, mm. yeah, it's pretty good. And then you're like, you're like, yeah, I just like I feel like it would taste really good. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm so yeah, I bet that. it would. I'm such a anyway, okay, do this. Anyway, the chase, the chase has begun. begun. <laughs> Toph and Katara keep fighting. Uh since Toph is new, again, mm. I wrote Top is new. Mm. Uh, Katara makes some ho ass comments about her being fucking blind. Appa sheds some motherfucking fur. Azula and the bad bitches use that to track him down. Um, a back might want to be bended by Sokka. Yeah. My dyslexic ass couldn't read that for a second. I was like, what? Um, Zuko catches up to them. They have a sick three way fight. Um, and Azula shoots her uncle and dips. Bro, oh my gosh. We'll get to that. Um, but yeah, so it opens with the gang, you know, hanging out. Tired. You know, Toph, but Toph being one of the boys. Yeah. Because like, Toph is like one of the boys. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, Katara cannot handle that, of course. No. She's fucking pissed. Women. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> she's, she's fucking pissed. Um, yeah. Which, okay. Having... Girl roommates is so fucking hard. It is. It fucking is. Just Damn. like I have never, and I am like, I'm one of the guys, okay, but I am also <laughs> like, I can be a girl's girl, like that kind of thing. And I've never had success that boy's a liar. in living with girls. <laughs> Material girl. And it was God, like, it's so go? hard. Like setting. Like you have to have mm. the clearest boundaries and communications and rules, and you have to know that they're going to be broken. But and how, how how much is it easier with dudes? Because it's just different. Like there, it's guys so are less chiller. Gi guys are just chill. Chiller, and it's so much less personal. If I'm like, hey, can you go do your dishes? Yeah, I get that. Like yeah. if, with a girl, like it's like, hey, um, do you know whose dishes? <laughs> they start crying. I just sorry. I just. I love you, but I just really need the digit. Like, it's so fucking Yeah, awful. I've never had a prefix, I love you, but. I love you. <laughs> Look, it's like, Justin, can you go pick that up, please? Yeah, it's yeah. so much easier. It's but so much easier. Why do you think my sophomore year, I went for my freshman year, I lived with five other girls, and then my sophomore year, I lived with you and two other guys. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And Jay-Z was like, cool with me. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, I, I get that. I mean, I I don't know. I could Maybe because I've never had, like, that energy of, like... Cause I'm not. You're, I'm a, you're, I'm a, it's because I'm a dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't like. I, I can't. It's so hard. I guess I can't imagine. I mean, yeah. It's so hard. I feel like you have to like, like I feel like most guys can almost live with almost whoever. Mm -hmm. Like you could like I, but I feel like a lot of girls that I know um, really have to select. If they're living with a girl, it really has to be super selective. You have to be. Yeah. So fucking aligned on mm. mostly just your personal space on like your uh your preferences of like mm. what do, are you a morning or a night person um are you <laughs> like are so. are you super clean or do you not mind mess like because if you're both morning people and you're sharing one bathroom like you're not getting anything done you know well yeah, yeah. It's like and, and it's also like if someone doesn't really mind a mess or is kind of like a messy girly which is totally fucking fine but if the other one is like yeah. I need it to be clean. All dishes mm. need to be done at the end of the day. Like that kind of thing. It's not going to fucking work. Yeah. It just simply won't. You can kiss that fucking friendship goodbye. Shout out to Claudia, my sister's roommate. They've been together for like since college. That's awesome. But like I feel like that's a situation where it's like I can't imagine <laughs> living with anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, because dudes can be like, hey, man. <laughs> and then they're like, you don't even know each other. And you're like, what's up? What's up? You like this the one thing? I kind of like that one thing. Cool. We'll only talk about that now. <laughs> like super fucking easy. Yeah. So so I totally like watching that all play out. I was like, I've seen this before. Yeah. I have well, seen this and I've lived this. I think Toph too has uh, grown up very privileged. So she's used to servants. Mm -hmm. Toph is also, um, I feel like Toph also, 
uh, hasn't hasn't dealt with hasn't groups of people. Her same age, I think, is also super important, right? Yeah. Like Toph is like, I'm just I'm done cleaning by, and they're like, No, yeah. we're literally we also, do this I'm together. Like, we do this together. Also, we're all on the run from the Fire Nation. Yeah. You're, you're you're traveling with the most wanted person in the world. Yeah. You should probably like just to offer to help out. Yeah. Maybe. Go out and get the fucking <laughs> the twigs for yeah. Campfire. Like. I don't know. She, yeah, I was like, ooh, that's a toughie. Yeah. She just wasn't, she just didn't get it. She just wasn't getting it. Their dynamic's great because it's like fun because Toph is like the complete opposite of Katara. Yeah, which could really like work if they work on it. But if they're, if, I mean, I can see how it's going to be fucking tumultuous. Oh, absolutely. You know? Um, So I thought that was hilarious and these poor kids though are just exhausted yeah i mean top tired top is kind of it's dope that she's like you know she feels the ground wakes up immediately yeah and then there's like a train what do you what did you think of that mad max train (laughs) oh my gosh that's another movie i haven't seen but i know what you're talking about but like Um, the whole yeah 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 yeah. wild i was like geez all all so that you can ride around I'm, i'm like just trying to picture them in they're like just sitting on their lizards. <laughs> like, oh yeah, just waiting. Like they're like just so, waiting. What's up with? <laughs> yeah, like just texting. Like like scissors on in the background, <laughs> and they're like all on TikTok and like <laughs> eating hot chips and gossiping. <laughs> like oh, I just get so I am. And they're on these lizards. <laughs> Not the yeah, they're yeah, just they're hanging like, out. Yeah, they're uh, like getting their nails done. <laughs> <laughs> that's like all and I was just like trying to picture that because I was like oh and th- because they're they open that door and they're like like they're I, I, ready out the that's gate that's the last person I want to camp with is Azula fuck that <laughs> she's putting roaches in your pants like she Thinking is it's funny yeah she thinks it's hilarious to like put your sleeping I mean, she bag put, in the she water she put that apple on top of May's head in the previous episode and lit yeah. it on fire oh my also, gosh they can get, uh, also they can get in the water together Zuko and, and yeah and, and jeez May. Um, but uh, yeah so they wake up I mean it just shows also how technically technologically advanced the fire, the fire nation, nation is, is. Mm-hmm. i think it's because their element is fucking fire, fire so they so, can forge shit so they can make things yeah. you know what i mean it's like machinery also they're yeah. winning the war so like they just have all this loot money, and money and, and stuff oh like yeah but um, so these girls are fucking crazy did you know uh so side note did you know how they were tracking them no i li- was literally like how the fuck are they doing how this? are they doing it yeah. i i though it was in because there was it was not fucking obvious to me at all. I don't yeah. know if I was just like really not putting a very clear two and two together or what, but I just was not. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, that probably is how they're doing. Like, <laughs> I was so surprised. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, what is it? Um, so, yeah, they're on the run and they're tired. They're, they're exhausted. exhausted. And, of course, that makes it even worse. All the Yeah, fighting. they're all so... Damn, the guitar Angry. dead ass said, the stars are beautiful out tonight, <gasps> Top. Dude, I was wish like, that you could see them. And I was like, bro. Oh my gosh. And then she goes, sing, sing. I, I, do you know that TikTok sound where it's like, um, what about your mom dead in a casket or something like that? I, it was just like a thing where it's like, Top, where he's like, makes fun of Top for being blind. And then it's Top, and then it cuts like Top going, what about your mom? <gasps> oh, what is your mom being fucking dead? That's and so it was just like funny. some funny shit like that. Yeah, I thought they were both just like being tough. Do, do, who tough. did you understand more? I feel like I understand Katara. Top. Oh. Oh, I totally. I'm, I'm, like, the, I'm not picking a side, but I understand that <clears> for <throat> Toph, it's going to take a minute. Obviously, Toph needs to understand and yes, needs to. You I know. just thought it was really like. I understand where she's coming from. Of sh- she's like, yeah, this is like my thing, and I'm just like here and blah blah blah, and like, yeah, but the collective. She's but it's not, a collective, you know. yeah. Like you're hitching a ride with these people. Like you yeah. should help out. It'll go quicker, anyways, mm-hmm. and then you can all get to sleep faster. The fights in this episode fun. are awesome. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> all the shit with you know uh, May and what's the other one's name? Ty Lee. May and Ty Lee, yeah. and May is just so annoyed and bored with everything. She's <laughs> so funny. Um, yeah. Them fighting Katara and Sokka was sick. I like how um, when uh, I remember when they came out with the uh, the fucking lizards. Yeah, Top is like three on three, and then he was like, <laughs> and then he's like, you mean four? And he's like, oh uh, yeah, but you don't bend. <laughs> you know, I was only thinking Bender, so three on three plus Sokka. I was <laughs> yeah. like, Yikes! yeah, 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 yeah. She's ruthless. Um, yeah. and they were that was so. I mean, the fights in this were so good. The, I thought the one. Um, that was so good was when it was just first Azula, 
uh, Aang and yeah. uh, Zuko. Yeah. And there's that one moment when they're all like, yeah, did you know Zuko was gonna come at, come pop up? No, everyone just started showing up, and yeah. I was like, "This is so fun." I like how it was co- totally like a uh, another Western trope where you know, yeah, like it this. was this. I, it was the Spider Man meme. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But it was like this, and then it just cuts to their eyes, yeah, and their, and their hands, and then mm-hmm. their face, and then it's like you know, Sergio Leone, um, totally like stuff stuff that he does. I um, loved it, um, and that was just a crazy, crazy fucking fight. Well, uh, to go back, also, I really liked when um. <laughs> Sokka is fighting Tylee and he gets all his limbs. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and then she's like, he was kind of cute. I, told, I was like, man. oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And, and I was like, bro, Sokka, man, he's not only is he attracted, it's I think it's I think it's fifty percent or forty percent his looks, definitely sixty percent his funny, man. I was gonna say charismatic as fuck. Like he is, charisma. Dude. Sokka's got that riz. <laughs> <laughs> he does, he does. He's so like he's At, just like funny and cute. Batty number three on his his list yeah bro. yeah he's bending the bag he's bending the bag he needs um, and so I thought that was funny and I'm like ooh I'm interested to see where that yeah, goes if it yeah. goes anywhere um, but um, then I thought one of the best parts of this yeah the <laughs> I can tell by the way you just sat like this was uh, when Toph w- runs yes. away and then she meets Iroh oh, That's, that scene like, makes me cry up. yes oh my gosh it yeah. was just like the two ugh yeah, it's, it's stuff she needed to hear at the moment, especially. Yeah. And he didn't even, you know, it's crazy. He's following Zuko, but he's not. Yeah, he's so he's following him. But he's, he's been following. He's been tracking him down. It's yeah. just so, I'm like, oh my gosh, he loves him so <clears throat> He doesn't, much. And, and I'll be there no matter what. Yeah, and and Toph, Toph, sorry. <laughs> Toph had um, some Grace. like, yeah, that's why had some like good things to say as yeah, well. Maybe you should let him know that I, you yeah, need like, him too. Yeah, like let him know you need him. Yeah. Um, because I'm sure Iroh is like so scared, like he can offer all of this wisdom, but I'm sure he's scared to be like, I need you because he already lost, he lost, like I'm sure he's terrified. Yeah, he lost he a kid lost already. he lost his son that he knew like he'd obviously needed this kid and he then he gave everything up. Well, also he wasn't there to protect his son when he needed. Yeah. So he, he's probably worried about, you know. Oh, I'm sure he's terrified and it's just so like, oh. Just yeah. so sad, and then if he sh- he shows up, and they're all gonna fight. Yeah, they show up. He uh, so they had that three way fight. Mm-hmm. It was pretty fun. Yeah, Zuko is so bad in it. He's <laughs> just running in the shit. He's just- <laughs> yeah, he's like, bah. um, that was wild. And um, then they all show up to fucking body body Azula, Azula, and she's like, I give up, I give up, which I knew wasn't actually yeah, what this was how happening. Shoots her uncle, <laughs> dude. I'm terrified. He's okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Is he? I, okay, he is. Because if he was actually dead, we would be talking about it. When I was watching, <laughs> when I watched, well, also, you should see. Yeah, obviously. You should see my he's reactions. In, he's, he's I, not- I know, I didn't, I don't know. I don't know anything. I literally, like, <laughs> started, I was, like, tearing up. I was freaking the fuck out. You, yeah. When you see my reactions, you'll see. I was literally like, What a hoe, no, too. no, no. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think Iroh let his guard down because he noticed Toph, and he was like, "I just talked to you." Yeah, yeah, I. Oh, he's gonna be hurt though. He's gonna be hurt. He's gonna be and fucked up. I just said, if Iroh is dead, I'm done, <laughs> not watching anymore. Yeah. So it's good that he's not dead yet. Um. <laughs> so yeah, because uh, I'm not ready for that. Um. But yeah, that was such a sick big old fight, and yeah. I mean, what a solid gang. What a solid fucking gang that'll True. be like when hopefully they all come together because I still have that prediction that Zuko's going to be the fire master or really? he's going to okay. I still yeah I still think that he's going to join them. I still think he is. I still have hope. Except in the last episode he's still fucking hanging on to his titles. He's like I am Prince Zuko. Well, I think um, again, oh yeah, we didn't talk about the ending of that episode, but not not to backtrack too much, but yeah, it's he uh, I think he also has to affirm who he is. Yeah. You know, granted, like you can't really run from your past, which I think he kind of realized at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because I was like, pull out the fire. Well, yeah, he had to, and then he can't run away. Like his mom said, never forget who you are, mm-hmm. right? So I think Zuko has to. And then at the end, of course, he goes, hey, here's your dagger. And that kid goes, I hate you. I hate you. Yeah, I was bummed the fuck out by those people. I was like, well, oh, Well, I mean, cool. to be fair, the whole reason their son 
is probably dead. Yeah, and is they're... because of the Fire Lord in the Fire Nation. So yeah, I understand. Yeah, not even just like... like the Fire Nation, the son of the Fire Lord. Yeah, like yeah. I was like, maybe don't give your whole title. Like maybe just be yeah. like, I am Prince Zuko or I am Zuko, the Fire Vigilante. I don't know. I was just like, I thought that was going to be his moment to like He's redefine like, I himself. I am Zuko, a lower ranked army man who's <laughs> not really down for the war, but not like. really down. I'm kind of, my eyes are actually kind of being open right now but like but i I, I fire ah. <laughs> but i can do it <laughs> yeah 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 but no um, so episode eight i just i yeah. loved both of these episodes these episodes were incredible what was your reaction to appa being the reason that they all got fucking caught <laughs> i was like mm, i know he's buddy. shedding i, I was know, just like yeah. buddy what is he supposed to do yeah what i mean what can he do he's literally shedding yeah and so they finally gave him a bath yeah um god they're just exhausted they just need to go to sleep yeah and at so the bad. end they op literally just falls over and they all just fall he's to like the, they all night. just fall to the ground yeah yeah, yeah but I, I can't imagine pulling an all-nighter and then also having to fight someone fight not just someone uh fucking azula yeah, the lightning queen fucking terrifying terrifying yeah and wh- where were may and they got Ty Lee. They got thrown down the river. Remember? Oh yeah, that's right. I was like, wait, why didn't they come to this? Appa threw him down Menachetua. the river. Threw him down the river. That's right. That's right. Because he went. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah, I, I haven't. I haven't these. pulled an all nighter in like years, so I can't imagine no, like what how they feel. That. Yeah. Absolutely. Fuck that shit. You will not yeah. catch me pulling all nighters anytime soon. I yeah. set my circadian rhythm good. Yeah. Yeah. But Need all right, sleep. sick. But yeah, any predictions for? I guess. How's Ira doing? I'm terrified. I am not doing well on that front. <laughs> I'm scared. I hope that yeah. he's doing okay. I'm very eager to keep watching because I want to know how he's doing. Mm, um, yeah. I think there's going to be... I was bummed when when Zuko was like, get away! I, I was bummed. I wanted oh, Katara, Katara to help. To heal. I, yeah. wanted, I wanted her to heal. Leave! I was, leave us um and i wanted them to not leave them like i wanted them to stay near so that there could be a conversation there <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah um but yeah that's i think they're gonna meet up again very soon mm, very very soon okay. i think yeah. um i hope and yeah earth oh i'm ready for ang to start learning some earth shit yeah yeah he's gonna learn to have to learn some earth bending with Toph. yeah like pretty be, soon gonna be fun to see how she teaches him right it's, she's a different yeah. kind of vibe than katara so it's gonna be fun yeah because yeah. katara's like just try this and do this and i have i have a feeling that Toph is gonna beat no the fuck bitch out of him. Like, i have a feeling that she's gonna like be like Zoom, and then he's just gonna like Ugh, and yeah he's yeah, gonna yeah. be in a lot of pain i think he's gonna have a lot of bruises <laughs> yeah i mean it's a rough element it is. It's, it's not down. just like it's not like wisping or like no. splash splash. Wisping. It, it's like a yeah, it's yeah. like that. So yeah, but yeah, yeah. All right, sick. Awesome. Um, cool. shout out. Uh, uh. Oh, this is stitch it to the patriarchy. This shirt. I got this shirt from them. Shout out to them. They're really dope. Um, kindness is hot. Kindness is hot, and they have they mm. hand stitch this stuff. And follow our Patreon. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Spicy Tuna Pod. You can like, follow, subscribe at Spicy Tuna Pod. You can watch us on YouTube and you can listen to us anywhere you get your podcasts.